Hi guys, welcome back to practice lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the intersection of two lists using streams. Okay, so when I say intersection, it means I need to find the common elements which are available in both lists. So consider this is going to be my first list. This is going to be my second list. So first list contains three, four, five and second list as well contains three, four, five. So these numbers are common in both lists. So I need to print these numbers as the intersection. Okay, so my output list should contain three, four and five. This is going to be the intersection of these two lists. Okay, so let's get started and write the code. So here you can see I have written a class list intersection and inside that I have written a main method which is going to be starting point for my program execution. Now let me declare these two lists. So these lists are going to hold the number. So I'm going to create the list of integer and we'll hold the first list into a variable list one. And I'm going to use arrays dot as list to initialize the list with the numbers in problem statement. So let me copy this and paste it here. Same way, I'll create another list. So I'll copy this code as it is and paste it here. And I will rename the variable as list2. And this list will hold the numbers which are there in second list. Now I got both the lists. Next thing is I need to find the intersection of these lists using stream APIs. So what I will do, I'll use list one and then convert this list into a stream using stream function. And then I will use filter function to filter this list. And I'm going to mention a condition and that condition is going to be a condition which will check the element in second list. So here I'm going to check each element with the list uh, or the elements which are in second list. So this contents function is going to help me to check if this list two contains the elements from list one. Okay. And based on this condition, I'm going to filter the first list. So basically it will give me the elements which are common in both lists. So what we did here, we use list one and then we converted that list into a string using stream function. And then I return a condition using filter. So this condition list colon colon contents, that means this is a method reference. And this contents is a method which is available inside this list. So this is going to check if the element which is present in list one is available in list two or not. If that is available, then I'm going to filter that number and collect into a list. Okay, so I'm going to collect the result set into a list by using collectors dot to list functions. This will give me the list. Okay, so I will get the list and I will simply hold that list into a variable. Okay, and here I'll rename the variable as intersection list. Okay, so this will hold all the numbers which are common in both lists. And then I'm going to print this using intersection list dot for each and I'm going to use system dot out and then print LN. So this will print all the elements from this intersection list. Now let me run this code and show you the output. So here you can see three, four and five is the out of this intersection list. So basically these numbers are the numbers which are common in both lists. Okay guys, so that's it from this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Also, if you need any assistance to crack the interviews, please connect us at practicelab23 at directgmail.com. Thank you. Bye.